we've looked a lot about what magnets are and even how we use them to find our direction in places when we're lost. But can you make a magnet by yourself? Yes, you actually can and it is really easy. So there are basically two ways in which you can make a magnet. There are other methods, but let's look at these two methods in detail. So the first method is known as the single touch method. What do we do in this method? Quite easy. You take the substance that you want to magnetize or you, which you want to turn into a magnet. Make sure it's a magnetic material, otherwise it wouldn't turn into a magnet. So let's say I use a bar of iron. All I have to do is take a permanent magnet. So permanent magnet, like we already studied, is a substance which always contains magnetic properties or it is always going to retain its magnetism. So it would already have a north pole and a south pole. So you take the permanent magnet and you simply rub it or stroke it against the iron or the substance that you want to magnetize in a round direction. So you start over here on one end. Let's say we have north and south like this. So you move it in this direction across the top and pull it out like this. So you keep rubbing it on the top like this while stroking the iron or the substance that you want to magnetize. And if you keep repeating this, then what's going to happen is that the end over here that is closest to the north pole of the permanent magnet will slowly start to develop a north pole itself. And the point which is moving away from the north pole as you're taking away the magnet will slowly start to, to develop a south pole. Similarly, if you did the same thing, but using the south pole of the magnet, can you guess what pole this end of the magnet of the magnetic material would have? Yes, you're right. It would have a south pole and the opposite end would then get a north pole. So using the single touch method, you will get an end on one side where you're hitting or striking the material first will have the same pole as that of your point by which you're striking the magnetic material. And the point at which you're removing or taking away your magnet will have a pole opposite to that of your magnetic pole. So this was one method in which you can actually create a magnet on your own. There is one more method which is more commonly used nowadays and that is by using electricity. Funny, right? Using electricity to create a magnet? That's because whenever you have electricity or when there's a current flowing through a wire, it can actually create its own magnetic field. Yes, so if you have a wire, there's actually a magnetic field all around the wire that's containing or having an electric current flowing through it. In fact, whenever any charged particle moves, it actually has its own magnetic field around it. And because of this, this magnetic field of an electric current, it can create another magnet. So all you have to do using electricity to create a magnet is to take the substance that you want to magnetize. Let's say we have again an iron bar. You have to wrap around a coil of wire quite a few times, wrap it around and Take the ends of the wire and you connect it up to a battery or a power source. So the battery or the power source is going to pass a current through the wire. And because this current or this electricity has its own magnetic field, the magnetic field will transfer to your iron substance or your iron object and it will create a magnet or the iron will become magnetized and it will become a magnet. So using these two simple and quite efficient ways of producing magnets, you can actually create your own magnet.